I can give it a theme, he can write the lyrics, he can suggest melodies for me, I can compose the melodies into a song, and then I give it a prime word, for example, space and time. It will go into the data set and generate new lyrics, sometimes just by itself, sometimes it fits to my melodies, all kind of different combinations. So we use deep learning to generate lyrics, but it's also combined with like semantic knowledge. So in a way, Shimon will know like the word storm is also related to rain, and they sort of generate more based on rain. And they can also generate things related to rain, like maybe sunshine, it will come back. playing bass with him, it's really cool. It's really great just interacting. It really just feels like another musician on stage. So for many years I felt that people come and enjoy it partly because it's kind of a gimmick. Uh, a robot that plays, that's cool, and it looks at you and it bobs its head. Uh, so definitely, I still want all of this experience, hey, it's just like a human and it's interesting, and, but I think we reached a level where I actually expect the audience to just be blown by the music. I like the music. This is music that humans by themselves wouldn't have written, and there's something unique about this song, and I want to go back and listen to it, even if I don't look at the robot. We may not be there yet, but if you ask me what is my dream, that would be it. Shine. We may be disinclined